I love football. I love scoring goals, beating the other players, working as a team. Before the game begins, I think we must win this game. We are in the league, so we must win this game. They depend on me because I'm the striker. I'm used to scoring goals, so they believe in every game that we play, Alfonso must score. I feel free on the soccer field. Sometimes I forgot I'm in present. When you came in present, that is the first time when it was very hard for me. Will I not be abused? Will I not be wrongly used in prison? You do know no barrier, so that guy comes to you, hey, who are you? What are you doing here with a lot of tattoos in his face? And he want to rob you and all that thing. You, you must go and sleep with me tonight in one bed, all that stuff. So it's hard for me because I do know nothing. And nobody stand up for me because no one knows me at that time. You don't have a belonging. You are fearful. You want people to back you up, you know, when you are facing troubles or problems in prison. And if you are not, you can succeed you see, in prison. No one can beat you, like something like that. No one marry. If you are the France, you didn't do what they want to beat you, can beat you, you see. And you can do nothing about that. Then gangsters or gangsterism sort of like um, offer this security that you will be safe in prison. Nobody will harm you. Uh, bad things won't happen to you. When you are not a gangster in prison, so you will be used like sodomizing, send you around, do things, wash people's clothes, like that thing. So you must be put your head in a, like a 26 or 27 or 28. That's why I did think I must do something to get into one of that gang. So I did put my head in a gang like organization like 26. But immediately as you enter into number, which I saw with my own eyes, that uh, the promises that are being made by gangsterism or gangsters are not happening because some of the, most of the people that got hurt in prison are the ones that are involved in gangsterism. There's no one who wants to be ruled, there's no one who wants to be controlled in prison. Then fight and stabbing will start into these things and they uh, the small issues that start from number result in big bad uh, uh, consequences. But the consequence when we choose to respond positively to the challenges in prisons is profound. Ambassadors in sport use football to bring hope where there at first only seems despair. To walk a journey with the boys through sport that could change their lives forever. Last year was the first time they came here. And no one didn't know the program was like this. Ever since I met with the ambassadors, I gained hope because I saw these people, they were not just, you know, rendering these programs to us, but they had a, they had a heart of caring. They, went miles which I never expected they, they, might, uh, they might go for us or they might went for us. Guys who want to talk with me about God, about the Bible, they didn't like it. See, or I was also like, hey, go away from me, brother or sister or pastor. They don't want to listen to this. See, but now I'm a year, yeah. I'm, I'm only, yeah, I'm a four year now by Coach Mark and most of the time we learn about the Bible so I get used to it and I love it now because I can see what God has done for us. Because that time you were a little, your oh, eyes is like your eyes is closed, you can't see really. But now I can see clearly God has done a lot of things for us. So that's why I came in. I came near to God and I love to hear about Bible studies and like God in the Bible. The people that are the coaches in the academy, they love me while I, I say to myself, I don't deserve it. And 
that changed me because I know being in prison, I'm supposed to be locked up in here and be forgotten about. But they come and say, there's hope and you can change and be a better citizen in this country. There's no number is allowed here. When you are on the room, like, you must relieve those things of numbers and all those things. We are all the unity, we are working as a team, and we are changing our lives for the future. And that is not the, 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 the easy thing to do, to love under the rules, because you are used to make rules, not to love under rules. So now, it's a challenge for you, but I'm used to that, and it's a big difference for them to come here because they like, change the whole person, really. Most of the things they change, most of the guys who are who was gangsters are not gangsters anymore. Like there is rugby, soccer, cricket, every sport is there in that section, there where I'm sleeping now. Before there wasn't things like that. So I can say the coaches, the ambassadors, they make a big difference like this person. Seriously, because there was a lot of gangsters. You know you're in prison. It's only about like one hour exercise, then you get locked up. Now, Ambassadors is bringing more opportunities. In that hour, you can do something positive. You are learning, besides soccer only, you can learn maybe a scripture. That scripture can lift you up maybe for the future to come. So it's not just soccer, 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 soccer. There are some different things that we adapt also, like our life skills that you can use outside. The whole program is like working through football. To to get nearer to God. We play football here. So if you play football without faith, you'll never have a good future. So you must have both three of them, but the one that will lead you into a, 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 a good future is to have faith, you see. So the main focus for us is faith. And then it comes football, and then our future now will be brighter. I said to myself, I'm going to stand and start doing good. So my stand now is to say that change is possible. And, and change, I say, it begins with me. As one warden said to me that change begins with me. I believe that the change that I'm doing will not only affect me, but it will affect many people. Same applies with crime, that when we do crime, it affects others. And this change that is in me, it will affect other people as well. I can do more and I can achieve something in life, maybe one day. So I don't know what they've got planned for me, but what I believe is that I can achieve something and I want to do it every day. And that's what I want to do outside also for my community. That is my belief and my dream. Leaving prison has its own set of challenges. Given the present economic climate and a history of injustice in South Africa, many people remain desperately disempowered, disillusioned and in despair. The impact of this environment on our children is far-reaching. Yet there are men like Sinatemba who, having left prison, are now using football to reach the youth and bring an entire community hope. This academy has been in existence about two years now. We started with uh, two divisions, which were under 11 and under 13. And now, as at the time went by or goes by, we ended up having five divisions, which are under 11, 13, 15, and the under 19, as well as, as well as the seniors. Sports is more effective, you know, to our communities because, as I said, that sports is an outreach and we believe that uh, we're preaching the whole gospel to the whole person through sports and sports is a talent or ability that we've been given by God. So we, that's the way that we glorify God and God will bring us hope. It's God that gives us hope. With your continued support, ambassadors in sport are able to effectively keep using football to bring hope into many desperate communities, to bring good news to the afflicted, bind up the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to captives, and freedom to prisoners.